Hey guys, this is D D aka Dark Frozen Depths, back with another Osawari Island video. Now, apparently enough people sent tickets about it, I've done it myself, but now there's some little weird function where after you accept them in your inbox, you have maximum hearts, which you need to upgrade your girls. For example, I'm showing one that has no scenes, and now she's um she went from R to HR rarity. And her stats are going to increase every time I do it, too. So, um... Let me go, uh... Yeah, see, list, and I'll check her stats. And I'm short a few Aramon, too. I need, um, 853. I gotta find the four that I did not get for some weird reason. Now... Keep in mind, for example, we'll look at HP, 790, and her attack is 408. Now watch what happens when I do this. So 790 HP and 408 um, attack. Is now 825 HP and 415 attack. This is the other reason why you have to upgrade these characters. Now, for those that are worried about playing the content, this is a very big thing to do. You have to go enhance all the ones that you want to use. Now, after you've done su such a thing, like you've gotten them to their highest rarity, you don't even have to get it all the way, but I suggest you do to get the most stats. Now, I'm going to level her until max level and she's already good to go to to get used so level 40 I already have a very strong one over here at level 70 that I had a long time ago and she had to go from HR which is level 40 upgrader SR level 50 did it again for SSR. Now, L and SL count as the same, like, they count as different rarities, but they have the same max level. L is, um, L is weaker than SL, typically. But the thing is, you don't go from L to SL, you go from SSR to L and that's it. Or you go from SSR to SL. The only difference between the two, really, Aside from the stats, is the scenes, because the scenes are animated for SL. At least for the um, second one. The second batch of scenes is animated. The first one is just static, for pretty much. And unless you've actually seen how it is, you get to interact, at, interact like that. Now, for instance, with her, I have her final rarity is SL, but I haven't upgraded her, so she only goes up to level 40. So, that's the whole thing. Now, when you check the, um, the upgrade hearts, for some reason it says 98, 410 here. But rest assured, I do believe it's infinite now. Because it keeps going back to 9s on the screen. So, you don't have to grind for hearts. This is why I did not do the, um, grind video. I wanted to wait and see what they do. So, now she's fully maxed out, I have all her scenes. That's what I wanted to show. Now, when it comes to very strong teams, I've got a very good one right here. Like, for instance, her. She's got a lot of attack power. The main reason I have her is because her move costs... Does, um, it costs a lot, but it does par paralysis to somebody. Like, this is a good... Um, this is a good... Um, Crap, Topaz and, and Sapphire team. Topaz is Emerald. I mean, um, Topaz is um Earth, and Sapphire is Water, basically. Ruby would be Fire, and Emerald would be Wind. That's more or less how you do the Rock, Paper, Scissors. And they, um, they're against each other when it comes to elements like... Ruby beats Emerald, but is weak in Sapphire. So, in other words, Fire versus Water, Fire versus Wind. In order of um, who beats what, it 
would be Fire or Ruby beating Emerald, which is Wind, but they beat Topaz, which is Earth, and Topaz beats Sapphire, which is Water, with Sapphire beating Ruby. That's your elemental rock, paper, scissors. This is practically Pokemon simplified. So, that's the one thing about that. Now, in the case of getting more experience points, like I said in another video, because all the stuff is unlocked, I found that out. All of it. But you still have to go through stages in order to get more stages. They just unlocked the areas, they didn't unlock the stage themselves. But... You have to pretty much use your golden vouchers, get some stuff from here, and then you're good to go. Like I said, the monster gems, best way to get some more um, gold points. So, I'm going to just drop another 10 on that. I don't know if they give you a max limit or not. But there you go. And I've gotten 600 more um, gold points. If you want to mess around with it, fine. But the only things you really need would probably be this move power-up chocolate, which is um a 100% chance of powering up a move, making it stronger. This to level it up if you want to reduce the MP cost. But that's ex expensive. And then this is the big biggest one right here because it's a crap ton of experience points. That's pretty much all you want to do. And if you do stages, you can get items with the fairies. The gems can also give you tickets, but hey, you can get everybody in the single... You can get everybody in the game, so you don't really need it. Which means my reunion ticket is probably going to be nuts, considering the fact that I've gotten most of the roster. So, that's the whole thing about all that. And the last but not least, Fortune. I don't know if you get a character from it, but... I could spin it just to show you. Because it gives you random items. And I got more hearts for some strange reason. But you can come back every five minutes and do it. Now, there's one more thing. I don't know if they drop. But there is this where you can draw fortunes. This was a very good way to get some very strong stuff kind of easily. But I don't know if there's events that's playable where you can actually get the fortune tickets. If you can, this is a good place to dump those at. Because it resets when you um, get them all. So when you get all 1,500 items just about, it will reset back to full. And you can just do it again and again and again and again. This is the best way to get a lot of this stuff. This is the only way to get these MP gummies, which is sort of MP throughout a fight. And that was my phone. But, um, yeah, that's the whole thing about that. So, that said... That's all you really need to grind for if you're actually trying to play this game. But if you're here for the scenes, good news. You got all the hearts in the world now to actually upgrade the characters. So I, you don't have to grind. Just make sure you get every single character. But on that note, I'm going to end this video right here. And I'm going to try to find the four characters I did not get for some strange reason. So after I sort all that mess out, I'll be good to go because I've... Don't have too many more to exchange this, so I gotta make sure I don't screw this up. But, anyways, that's all for now, guys. Next video I do on this is actually going to show one of the expert area stages. I just don't know which one I want to do just, just yet. But, that's all I got for this video, guys. Take care.